Yo, 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 what is up? What is happening? Uh, hey, it's me, Jordan, again. What's up? Cracking. Um, by this time, we know each other. Maybe not. So if you haven't met me yet, my name's Jordan. Hi, Diversified Income Project here. Uh, this is going to be a little solo project, a little solo deal. Uh, today, I'm going to work on one of my... Uh, different streams of income on work on my vending machine business if you guys didn't know um, alongside with Amazon and a couple other things I do do vending machines and a lot of people are interested in how the vending machines work what it looks like how you know the, the process of doing vending machines so I'm gonna take you on a small route I'm gonna hit two to three locations today I'm actually gonna stop and get product I am going to be filming this solo from my phone because the camera is with my partner. Um, so that's the journey we're going to go on today. Should take a couple of hours. I'll give you the numbers and everything um, at the end of the video. Uh, but right now, I'm going to head to Sam's Club. I'm going to go pick up some product. Uh, so I do have enough product to do the rest of my locations. I actually have five. Excuse me. I have five. And... We're going to go to about two or three today. So at five, we're going to go to two or three today. So stay with me. Like I said, we're going to go through all the locations. Not all locations. We're going to go to three, two to three of the five locations today. But first, let's go to Sam's Club and uh, let's make it happen. So yeah, this is going to be a video showing you how vending machines work. Stay tuned. So let's hit the quick inventory check real quick so I don't buy stuff that I don't need. So getting into the van. Um, so we got all the cookies that we need, some of the pastries. We don't really keep pastries in here. These have only been here for like a couple of days. So we got some muffins. So I do need pastries, um, which I buy weekly because I don't want them to go bad. I definitely need some chips. I only have one, two four boxes of chips and they're used boxes so there's not full they're not full um so i'm definitely gonna need chips um some sodas obviously i only got two cans two cases need some gatorades for sure candy's not that bad i try not to get that much chocolate during the summer and the hot the heat um because it will melt right now it's actually pretty cool in here so actually those oreos have not melted they're actually still solid so i gotta get them into the machines quickly um but yeah so i got a little quick inventory check so i don't overbuy or underbuy and let's make sure uh we get everything we need here and um so we can get to the machines and fill them properly and fill them all the way up so let's get to it we're at Sam's Club. So what's up? I'm here. I'm in Sam's Club. So I'm not going to record me shopping, like I said, because I'm by myself. So I'm going to load up the cart, get everything I need, and I'll give you, show you guys what I got when it's done. Um, I do scan everything with my phone, so I don't have to wait in line or anything like that. I just scan it, pay for it on the phone, and I get to leave. Uh, scan and go. It's a beautiful thing. If you don't have it, get scan and go. Shop at Sam's Club. It's quick. It's fast. It's easy. I'll be in and out within 10 to 15 minutes. So I'll see you guys soon. All right, so that's everything. Got in and out paid. Never had to check out with any cashier. Just scan and go. Now I gotta get all of this product into this van. Gotta move it around, make room, do all that. So uh, let's let's get her in. Let's get it done. And bam, it's loaded. Loaded up, filled up. Good to go. Nice and tidy organized dolly in the middle I gotta you know fish that out later but it's all good all right so let's get moving all right so everything's loaded whoa everything's loaded good to go ready to roll um, so now I just need to drive to the location um, this particular location is going to be my biggest location and my smallest location is where I'm going they're in the same area um, Biggest location I visit one to two times a week. Smallest location I visit one to two times a month. So uh, actually not that bad, but they're right next to each other. So it's pretty simple, uh, but it's about a 45 minute drive. And the only reason I will drive that far is because of the big location 
makes good money. That's I mean, that's the only reason. I wouldn't drive 45 minutes if it didn't make good money. So uh, I'm gonna drive there. I don't think we're gonna talk to each other for 45 minutes on the drive. So next time you see me, I should be at the location. So see you soon. All right, so we got all of that out of the way. Let's open her up. Yeah. When that light's blinking, I mean, there's something stuck or wrong. So let's figure out what that is. sodas aren't really empty. I think they're more concerned about the snacks. They do need Coke. Gatorades are doing okay. Just put probably a little bit in there. Monsters are good. They do need Canada Dry. All this was filled the last time I was here. So uh, that was about three weeks ago. So let's see. What we got? Fills are in here. It's kind of tight. Let's try to get this open. So let's get this. It's always hard to do with one hand. So that's all the bills. So that's the bills for that one. Okay, and then I know what I need. Gatorades, Canada Dry, Coke. All right. Now let's see what's stuck. Okay, looks fine. Nothing was jammed. So we're missing. This one definitely needs chips. We do three rows of chips. One, two, three. Some pastries, some cookies. Candy, definitely need candy. And cookies at the bottom, they should be fine. Let's see what this looks like. Let's open that one up. So, that'd be the cash for that one. That's the cash for this location, slow location. Like I said, I haven't been here in about three weeks. I'm just because they're slow location. So let me go out, load up the cart, and bring the snacks that I need into, and let's get filling. Okay, since I went to check it out first, I know exactly what I need. So this is all that I need to fill this machine up. It shouldn't take too long, 10, maybe, I would say 15 to 20 minutes to fill it up. Um, so we just gotta wheel her in. All right, cool. So we're filled up. We're good, we should be good. Fill this one up. Make sure it's tight. It's not tight. Your air leak. Remember how empty that was. Everything is good. That's my mess. Gotta clean up the mess. I'm gonna get out of here. All right, so that first location is done. Van's loaded back up. I mean, you can't really see. Um, so I'm off to the next location, literally a minute away. Just gotta park, load up again. That location I don't check before I go because they're always pretty busy. Um, so I just go full load and whatever's left is left and it's good. So I'm gonna go get in there, park, get loaded up. Uh, show you probably up to the back door Into the store a little bit Show you the machines a little bit, but I won't record in there just because it is The back room of a store that I don't want people to see the back room of a store So I'm gonna get you a little bit, but I will show you the cash and everything like that um, And then I'll get it loaded up and then Basically after that I'll get back to you with um, 
from fill to fill. So the last time I came and filled this location, and the last time I came and filled the last location, and uh, I'll go from fill to fill. I'll make sure I get the information. This is gonna be the two, this is one location, I'm going to the second one. I don't know about the third, it depends how the traffic is and everything. Well, once I get done, it is two o'clock-ish, and I am in the LA area, if you're not familiar with LA, there's a lot of traffic. So, especially going back towards Ontario is where I'm going. So, um, wish me luck. And we wait for them to open the door. Two hours later. All right. So I've already been here once this week. I know, well, since last Saturday. So it's been a couple of days. It's not bad. Let's open it up. Let's see what the cash looks like. Take this one. And then I'll get her filled up. This one I took to turn off. Got to unplug this right here. Credit card reader. Not a lot of cash. Drinks, not too bad. Gotta move those yellow ones over. Out real quick. Up here. Also, not a lot of cash. So, the total cash, not too much, but this one's a really big credit card reading machine. So, I'm gonna get them filled up. I'm gonna get out of here. Oh, quick update. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna talk to you guys when I you know make it to somewhere to you know count the money and uh, get the totals for the week from from fill to fill but uh um, first i gotta battle this traffic real quick i'm not even going home i'm going to one of my stores um and i'm gonna do it there because i got other things to do also but i need to get there first and it just takes i'd already be there if there wasn't you know this uh traffic it is like 3 or 4 35 on a Friday so it probably wasn't my best decision to go right now um, but I did want to film I did want to get this footage for you guys and show you guys what a vending machine route looks like so this is part of the game part of the grind there's traffic depending on what time you go so most of the time I either go in the morning or I go at night not in the middle of the day because in the middle of the day this is what you get morning and night it's not so bad but I really just wanted to get some, some footage for you today. So um, I'll see you when I get to the shop. So surprise, I'm actually gonna do the third location. Um, I was on my way home and it's basically on the way home from where I was coming from. I was at one of my stores uh, in Rancho. Uh, so I have to pass the location to get home so i decided hey why not i said two to three locations so we're at three so let's get low up for this one and um let's get her done this is the last location of the day i actually do have the totals for the last two i did but i'll just do all three of them at the same time um so i'm gonna get that set up i'm at a mall if you haven't seen you can't a mall so I'm gonna get loaded up. I'm gonna hit this. Should take me about 20 minutes, real quick. I call it the quick pat pat. Um, collect the money and head home um, for dinner or something. I don't know. All right, we're about midway through the fill. It's not too bad. It's been like five days. It's pretty empty. I already pulled out the cash. So. That's the cash that was in there. I'm already 
filled up some of this one. I don't have any the uh, monsters, the white monsters. I do have more Canada Dry and there's more water. I'll fill that up. Um, that's gonna be fine until the last time they don't drink a whole lot of Gatorade. Uh, let's see what we got. Have a pull of that. So cash here. So not much at all. Like I said, a lot of my processing goes through credit card. So I'm gonna wrap these up. It doesn't have to go high. I come here once a week. Every other location I come once a week. So it doesn't have to be super full. Um, it just doesn't need to be. So if I don't have to, I don't. During the busier seasons, it does, I do max it out. But during the slower seasons, which is now, I don't max it out. So I'm gonna fill this up. Got the product right here. There's coins in there, and none of the machines that took the coins out. Um, I take it out every once every like three months because I don't really get a lot of coins. I get a lot of card. So let me finish this up, and I'll be on my way. All right, so that's it. We're all done. Couldn't really film while I was in the mall. Uh, too many employees coming in and out of the break room that I was in, so I didn't really film much. I got a little bit here and there, showing the machines and everything that I actually took the money out. You know, things like that. So, walking back. Oh my God. Dropping stuff. Look at that. Ooh, it's windy. Never leave a mess, ever, ever. If you're doing business anywhere, or you do business at somebody's establishment, or anything, never wanna leave a mess when you come in. You always wanna leave it nice and clean. Um, so that's it, I'm done. That's three locations down. Uh, when I get home, I'll give you guys the breakdown um, of how much I made and whatnot and how much time I spend and what money I put into it uh, to get the money out and yada, 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 yada. Um, you know, all the good stuff or the boring stuff, whatever you want to call it. Um, and my final thoughts and tips and tricks and, you know, you know, yeah, there's nothing really else I can't do like a question and answer because this is a video that I'm recording. So uh, I'm going to load the car up. I'm going to get some food. I'm going to go home. I'm going to get back to y'all, so I'll see you at the house. All right, all right, all right. So I'm back at the house. Um, I got everything totaled up, all the money counted and put it into my system. Um, I just got to band the money up and everything like that. Um, so I'm going to show you guys a little breakdown on my computer screen. Um, so I'm going to flip this camera around. Um, and I'm going to show you every, all the breakdown and everything like that, how it works, what it looks like, and everything. Um that I got so let me flip this around all right so here's my spreadsheet showing uh, uh, this is where I input all the information and all the uh, all the money collected in total so I can track the business um, it's really important to track your business and not just collect the money I know it's an all cash business but don't just collect the money uh, this is gonna be USA live this is gonna be what the credit card readers basically the input the uh, the, the the merchant services for the credit card readers um, just showing all the stores and uh, everything like that and how much money came in on the credit cards and it does track some cash. Basically, that's the cash that I collected today. Um, there's only one five. I ban all the ones into $100 stacks so I can deposit them in the banks to make it a little bit easier. Um, bans kind of look like this. Um, so I got to go to deposit that into the bank along with this. This is from previous week. This is previous money left over. Um, just because it didn't make it to 100. So I got to band that up with this. I actually have a money counter. So it makes it a little bit easier, a little bit faster, more accurate. So when I go to deposit it, it's very easy for them to just deposit it into the banks that I have to count every single one. I've had them count like $600 in ones one time by hand. I'm just, you know, sometimes I got places to go. Um, so here's the breakdown here. And I'm sorry, it's on the computer. But I'm going to switch hands here. So this is the gross amount. So this is location number one that I went to. Well, technically, this is location number one that I went to. Um, I had to black out the, the where it is, so, you know, so people don't blow up the spot. But um, so there, I haven't been there for about three weeks. I have been collecting the, the credit card transactions, which come every week, but I haven't took any cash. So the cash was kind of high there for my slow location, $132. 
uh, in cash. If you break that down into like three weeks, you know, do the math. I didn't do the math previously, so I'm not going to try it right now. Uh, as you know, math isn't our strong suit. But you take the cash that was in there plus the credit card transactions from, I always go week to week. So from Sunday to normally Saturday, but I stopped it today on Friday. So there's still more money that's going to come in this week, and I'm going to update those numbers. But for the sake of the video, I did it from Sunday to Friday. Um, so for Sunday to Friday at this location, with all the cash from the three weeks, you're looking at $169.33, which isn't crazy if you split it into a four in the cash. But um, it's my slow location. I only have to go once every three to four weeks, you know. Um, so this is my biggest location. Once again, tomorrow's going to be the busiest day, so it's probably going to go up about $100. Um, but they had only $53 in cash, but... The credit card transactions at $223.55, and that is from Sunday to Friday. So that's $276.55, right? And then here's another one of my locations. Um, they only had $49 in cash. They are also very light on uh, drinks. That, that's why I went there today instead of waiting because I knew that the last time I went that I didn't put that many drinks in there. And I'd just been busy, so I didn't go, but I needed to go today. So they didn't use a lot of the drink machine because they're out of their favorite drinks. But $49 in cash, uh, $45.14 in credit card transactions. Um, that puts me at $94.14. Or $94 so $94.14 for that location. Um, going down here, let me scroll over. So here, that is going to be the total business. These dates are wrong because I always forget to change the dates because um, this is for uh, May. But I just duplicate all my different ones. So I just duplicate it, copy, and I have to erase. But I just, you know, I haven't erased it since September of last year. So right now, my business total for the week is $540.02. Um, $540.02. And uh, that's just for one day of work. I mean, I did three, so I'm going to do one half day of work here, and I'm going to do the other half for these other two locations that are also in, in really right next to each other. I mean, I walk from one to the other, so they're right next to each other. Uh, for all the snacks and gas this week, um, I did spend $509.18. Over here is the operating cost of how much I spent. I spent a little bit more just because I went to the warehouse that I haven't been to in a little while so i made sure i overstocked just so i don't have to go back and forth because i don't like to go back and forth with locations uh these are formulas that i built for this spreadsheet um so it shows percentage of ownership of how much money they spent and then it basically breaks down the percentage of ownership of how much this low pre this particular location owned of the product um so that way when i pay them out the commissions i get accurate commissions for them um, because three of my locations do require commissions, two of them do not. So that's a great thing. Um, that's how I get that. There's three of those, and then there's the grand total. So if I end this week the way it is right now, I know it looks basically it doesn't look fun right now. But if I end of the week and I didn't go pick up the rest of the money and I didn't calculate the credit card transactions from the other stores, which are gonna automatically be deposited into my account anyway, so. Doesn't matter if I do it or not. The credit cards are gonna go in on Monday. Um, I'll be at twenty eight dollars and nine cents profit. All that work for twenty eight dollars. But realistically, I still have to go to the other two locations and collect all the money and calculate the transactions from the credit card reader. Um, so I mean, that's that's really it. It wasn't a lot of work. It doesn't take a lot of time. I did go through a lot of traffic, but that is because I did want to show you guys what it looked like. Um, what it looked like, and I wanted to go during the day. I didn't want to go in the middle of the night and try to record and everything like that. So that's really just the, the breakdown here. Um, the spreadsheet is wonderful. I've had it for a couple of years now. Um, so, I mean, it's very simple. This is lovely, too. Um, realistically, as of right now, it doesn't get all the credit cards or all the cash. Like, some of the cash you can see is missing. The, uh, because these machines don't, they, they can't communicate the cash to the credit card reader. But if you scroll all the way down to the bottom here, and you go here, like right now, for the week from Sunday, no, yeah, Sunday to Friday, I'm at $744.20. But it can't calculate all the cash, so it's all numbers always off a little bit, um, just because you can't get cash on, I think, three of the 
three of the snack machines can't do cash. Um, but essentially, that is it. That's all there is. It's a very, very doable business. I started this business in 2014. Um, I didn't put a lot of time into it. I just made it known that I did vending machines and slowly built it. I uh, wasn't on a got to build it fast or anything like that. I did have things going on. This was a side hustle for me, which turned into a very lucrative business where I did a decent amount of money last year in. Um, I do plan on grow, growing this year, but in the same way I grew this year, when the opportunity comes, I'm just going to take the opportunity when it comes my way and I'm always ready for the opportunity. I don't actively go out looking for the vending machines, but when an opportunity presents itself, I don't shy away from it. I'm always ready to go. I'm ready to pull the trigger. I'm ready to make it happen. So, And when I do set up a contract with the company or a person or something, um, set up the contract on, if I set the contract up on Monday, I have machines in there the following, in the next like three to four days. Um, cause I like to make it happen quick with credit card readers and everything like that. So it's always about the speed and that customer service It's still a customer service thing. Uh, so you want to provide good customer service to your customers. Um, so I mean, all I'm going to do now is I'm going to band up the money. I'm going to get it ready to go. That's not fun, so I'm not going to show you that. I'm just going to band it up, get it ready to go. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to flip this around. For so, once again, I did this all with my cell phone, so it's not the greatest. And my dogs are barking. It's not the greatest, not the greatest quality, but that's simply vending machines. That's one of my side hustles. It's something that you can do. Um, it's something that I can teach you. It's not hard to learn. I can teach you how to do the spreadsheet. I can show you how to how to get the credit card readers. I can show you how to fill a vending machine, test the vending machine, change the prices. Like all the stuff vending machine, I can show you how to do. Uh, I got movers, and I know a place to get vending machines um, to me for a good price. But um, yeah, if you need any help, ask me. I don't know. I just paused and froze for a second. I think I got a text message I just read. That's the problem with doing it with your phone. I can actually see what people are saying. Um, but if you have any questions, you know, feel free to comment below or message me directly. If you have my my Instagram link, if you don't, it should be like right here. Um, that's just a hint for Emmett to put it right there. Uh, hit me up on Instagram. Ask me questions. Uh, let's talk about it. Uh, but at the end of the day, I'm here to help. I just wanted to show you one of my side hustles, one of my diversified income, one of my income streams that have made it very possible for me to do a lot of things, uh, more than I ever thought would be possible when I first started vending machines in 2014 with one machine. Um, so it's me again, Jordan, if you didn't catch it in the beginning, hello still, uh, if you're still, if you're still watching, um, and you know, it's a diversified income project and we're signing out.